Hey everyone, I'm Reynard. I want to show you a tool today called Foam. It's a tool I've started using recently and that I've really enjoyed using. And it's a tool that helps me to just gather all of my ideas and my thoughts together into a single place and start creating nice links between them. So to get started with this tool, we're going to need something called Visual Studio Code. Now this is another tool that's usually used by developers, but in this video, I'm gonna try and make it as simple as possible. You do not need to be a developer to use Foam. So let's get started. So first thing you're gonna need is you're going to need Visual Studio Code. So you get that by typing in to your favorite browser, code.visualstudio.com. You will get to this page over here, and you will be able to download Visual Studio Code for your favorite platform preferably the one that you are on right now. And then once you've downloaded that, we will come back and we will continue with the next steps. So I'm going to assume that you've, you've done that. If I had some elevator music, I'd be playing it right now. Um, so just go get it. And I'm assuming you've got it now and we can move on and we'll go back to Foam. So we'll go back to the Foam site here. So you can find, the, you can find Foam at foambubble.com dot github dot io forward slash foam and what i want you to do is i want you to just ignore everything you're reading and just click on getting started and the reason i'm doing that is because it gets technical it talks about github and git repositories things that developers know and things that could quite easily block you from using this really really awesome tool so just ignore all of that hit getting started or scroll down and the bit that I do want you to pay attention to is this bit here that says download zip. So we're gonna click on download zip and let me just uh, get a new folder here because we're gonna to need to save that zip file somewhere. So I'm gonna save it in documents. I'll save it over in my examples folder here. Um, let's move that out of the way quickly. So click on download a zip. It's gonna ask you where you wanna save it. I want to save it in my examples folder. You can save it wherever you like. Wherever you save it though, that's where we're going to be creating your, your foam uh, collection from. So hit save. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to extract that. Now on a Mac, that's fairly easy. I can just double click on the zip file here and it will automatically extract it for me. So I see now here, I've got a new folder called foam template master. And I'm just gonna name this something different. I might call this uh, my brain. Okay, so I've got a new folder, my brain. Inside this folder is all of the stuff that we've just downloaded. Okay, now next up, you're going to need to open up Visual Studio Code. So when you open up Visual Studio Code, you will be presented with a screen fairly similar to what you're seeing in front of you right now, except you might have a welcome message that's telling you about Visual Studio Code and all of the different things that you need to do. Um, don't worry about any of that. Uh, we just want to get started. So to, what we do next is you'll see here that we can open a file or a folder. That's exactly what we want to do. So if you see here, there's a shortcut, Command O. So you can click that, it will bring up your open dialog, or you can go to File and you can click on Open. So let's do that now. You see here that it's dropped into my examples folder. I've got my my brain folder here. I'm gonna click on that and open. So now you will see some magic things happening or not. It might just look plain like mine does now. And that's okay because you've, you haven't yet installed all of the extensions that makes Foam Foam. So what we're going to do now is I want you to click on view and extensions. Now that you're in extensions, I want you to click on these three ellipses above the search bar and you will see an option here that says show recommended extensions. And if you see this, just click on this drop down where it says other recommendations. I don't care about that. I just want the workspace recommendations. So these are recommendations that the, the firm workspace, that's what you downloaded, it's just a workspace. This, these extensions are recommended for you to use Foam. So what we're going to do, you might see the word install here. Now, because mine's already installed, I've just disabled it. You will click on install, it will download it and will activate it. I'm going to have to click here and I'm going to have to enable them one by one. 
So I'm just enabling these. Whoa, boom. So when I enabled this one, all of a sudden everything changed. That's because uh, the workspace is, has expected this particular theme to be installed. Now that it's installed, it's using it automatically. It's pretty crazy. So we'll just enable the other plugins here as well. Okay, next up, I want you to click on view again. So after you've installed those rec rec recommended plugins, extensions, after you've installed them, I want you to click on view and go back to the Explorer. When you're in the Explorer, you will see the files that came with, uh, with Foam. Now, there's two things I want you to do. I want you to right click on layout and I want you to delete it. We're not going to mess around with this. Just move it to trash. Um, I'm going to do the same for, for assets. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to move it to trash. And what we're left with is a folder that says .vs code, firm tips, inbox, readme, to do. This is your collection where you're now going to start doing your, your work and your collecting. So you can click on readme. You'll see the readme file pop up. You see all of this, this crazy stuff here and it, it looks a little bit like code, but also it's legible code. What you're, what you're looking at now is a syntax called Markdown. So you may be familiar with it already. I'm not going to get too much into Markdown, but I just want you to be aware that that's what Foam is. Foam allows you to create all of your notes and collect all of your notes using Markdown. Uh, you can preview it. If you hover here to the right, you'll see that there's a little uh, button that says Open Preview. So if I click on that, you will see how all of this Markdown gets converted into something that's a little bit more legible, something that you can click on and start poking around. Uh, so that's Markdown, that's the Markdown preview. What I want you to do though is, let's just close that window here, click on the X, click on the X. I want you to click on Inbox. So Foam is set up with this idea that you're going to use this as a productivity tool. You're gonna get whatever's in your head, you're just gonna dump it here in the inbox. So whenever you find anything that you wanna do, you're just gonna go drop it here in the inbox. So you can you can add add something like, uh, I don't know, let's, let's <laughs> maybe some, I've got something like, I wanna write a book. Yeah, so write a book. And maybe I need to, I need to call my, call my mum. So in Australia, we say mum. In other parts of the world, we say mom. Um, so that, that's something that I need to do. And you can just go here, you can just make your list. But you can see that here are some, some interesting things that they kind of recommend of how you can use foam. So it says, uh, here, write dis, disorganized notes. Uh, categorize the letter, we don't care about. This is just a place to dump. What is in your head, just get it out. So bullet points are useful. Um, sometimes it's better to just keep, get things off your mind quickly, but don't let this list get too long. So once you start doing stuff with this, just get it out of here. Um, so you can move information around. Uh, you can do things like command click. Uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. And then says so, some notes might not make sense and that's okay. Just delete them. So it's really encouraging to just, just start writing, just do stuff. And once, once you've got stuff, now it's a good time to start figuring out, okay, well, how do I use it? So I might not want to stay in my inbox, so I'm going to create a new, uh, a new note over here. So I'm going to click on this little plus symbol, say new file, and I'm just going to call it my index. So I'm going to call it index.md. This is where I want to start. This is, this is, my, this is my brain. And this is where I really want to start taking some of those things that are in my inbox and start moving it around. So I'm moving it into my brain. I can create other notes. I can go crazy with creating notes, but I want one particular note to ground me. So for some that could be inbox, for me, it's going to be my index. Um, the cool thing about uh, how Rome, <laughs> did I say Rome? I mean foam. Cool thing about how foam works is I can start to link things. So I can just say, Hey, you know, I really should write that book. 
I'm not really writing a book, but it's just to, for, for example's sake. So write that book. That sounds like something that needs more information. So I'm gonna put these two angle brackets around it. I'm gonna put two other angle brackets around it. So I need to go and write that book, okay? Um, it would also be really cool if you make a video series using foam. Foam, can't type. So make a video series using foam. So I can, again, put those little angle brackets around them. Now you might be wondering why do I put those angle brackets around them? Well, I'm just gonna go and hover over it now. Ooh, see, magic happened. I press down command, I think it's control on Windows. I just press down the command key, I hovered over this, and it automatically create, created a new note for me that says, write that book. If I, now watch closely here on the left hand side. If I hover over make a video series and I press the command key again, there it is, a new note called make video series using foam. So if I hover over it, press command and click on it, it actually takes me to that particular um, note that it's just created. It all already actually took what I wrote and converted it into a title for my next note. So I think that's pretty neat. So I'm gonna just maybe have something here that just says uh, index. I, I wanna go back to my index. Okay, so I can click on that and that should take me back to my index. So how cool is that? I'm just doing something here, poking around, turn that into index as well. Click on that. So I can go to make a video series, go to my index. I can go to write that book, click on my index, and I can open up here in my preview. I can see, write that book, write that book. I should also save the files. That would be helpful if I actually save the files. So let's save the file, save the file. When you save the file, the references get updated and you can see here on the right hand side, I can now start clicking through it. So write that book, hasn't been saved yet. So let's go save, write that book. Okay, now I can click on index. And there we go, I, this is the start of my brain. Now, this seems fairly, um, it, it seems complicated to get to um, a, a nice little outcome. You may not necessarily like this format and, that, and that's okay. I just wanted to show you a tool that I use but there is some really, really cool things hidden in here that I think you will like. So let's go to the to-do note. So in the to-do note, you can see there's these angle brackets of spaces between them, and it creates to-do lists for you. So if I'm on any particular line, and I hit Alt-C, or, um, is it Alt-C on, on, it'll be Alt-C on Windows, yeah, Alt-C on Windows, Option-C on a Mac, so if I press Oh, it just ticked it off, it's marked. Or I can just use my, uh, my cursor and just dra drag a whole lot of lines and type in option C and it marks them all. And as I mark them off, you can see on the right hand side the to-do column is getting marked off. Now that alone, I think would make Foam a really cool tool to start using. You can just organize all your to-do lists. I know, I know you list people are out there, you love making lists, you love ticking things off. You will love Foam. So please give it a shot. Um, there are other cool things you can do. One of my favorite things is uh, I, I've got a bullet journal, so an analog notebook, and, and I, every day I start taking notes in there. Um, sometimes I want those notes transferred to a place where it's gonna live a little bit more permanently. Not that the notebook is not permanent, but somewhere where I can easily search and go through it. Now, Firm comes with really, really cool um, Shortcut, if you press Option D or Alt D on Windows, it's gonna create a daily note for you. So uh, I think that's pretty awesome. So you can change how you want a daily note to appear, but now I can start doing things like, okay, so today I need to read some client reference docs. Um, review, use some code. And now I can start seeing, okay, well, hang on, these are things that I actually need to do. So let's, let's uh, turn them into things that I need to do. Okay, uh, let's just get that space in an appropriate place. 
Okay, so I can start to make a, a to-do list. I can also start saying, uh, start taking meetings from notes. Uh, uh, client is really happy with feature A. Um, I can start using other markdown syntax in here. So to, to make a heading for a secondary heading, for example, I can say um, uh, achievements. Um, I don't know what kind of achievements can I um, drink two liters of water today. Um, stood up at least five times. Got to bed early. Okay, so just daily notes. So if that's something that you're into, really, really easy to do daily notes, just press option D. Now, there's a lot more that you can do with it. There's a lot more that I've done with it. Like I said, my blog uh, is, is now running basically on this kind of flat structure that I then use other tools to then turn into into my, my site. And I might make some videos on that as well. I hope you like foam. I hope you like this video. I do tend to drag on a bit. If you, if you want me to slow down, tell me to slow down. If you want me to uh, speed up, tell me to speed up. If you think the video is too long, uh, just tell me, I'll get it right back down. Maybe I'll do little bits at a time. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and, uh, I'm not gonna do the, the typical YouTube thing, but I am going to do the typical YouTube thing. If you like the video, please subscribe. Yeah, sure, subscribe and the bell and all of that stuff that people usually do. And yeah, just thank you for your time.